Hello! How's it going, people? It's your boy, Questionable Morality, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are playing Amnesia, since you guys liked the last video so damn much. But hey, I actually really enjoy this game, even though it scares the living daylights out of me. It is good. I like it. Thumbs up. Smash like if you agree. Smash like. Do it now. But yeah, I'm gonna get straight into it. Let's just... You know, just roll the intro. I'm, I'm not doing any more funny things. All right, let's get into this. Even though it's really, really loud for some reason. Damn it, I forgot how scary this game is. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. I found some stuff. Is there anything in here aside from the thing that scared me? What even was that thing that scared me last time? A cave-in? Damn it. Fragile, but not breakable by hand. Yeah, because I'm a damn weakling. Okay, I need to find something to the break this. What the hell? You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. Okay, um, notes, notes, notes. There's a secret door mechanism in the local history room. It's just so much, like, noises and stuff, you know? It's unsettling. Then you are not getting my bum today, dear sir. Not. Oh, right. Boink. Ah. Local folklore. Ah, yes. At Stolt in Brunnenberg Castle, 1801, another region rich with lore is Astolt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor. Castle Brunnenberg, the quiet, forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as it can be. Albert, the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. Okay, let's, let's, you know, real, real do this. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back in time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were never and for, were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have sighted them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burr lamps, sacks dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? Okay, so I might be hearing these things walking around. Not fun. A visit undone. Henrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known Eritude, visited Astolt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remarks of the kingdom's past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Henrich is known to have passed away in a Grenoble? Some ten years later, he dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstold, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods and what happened to him? Fun little tale there. The Immortal Baron. 
The Baron of Brennenberg lives in a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Astold, and like most of the noble birth, rumours have inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed life. Presumed time. Presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to the lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. Hmm. This has been fed the idea that the Baron is in fact one and the same, who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of the country. Well then... Like I said, piecing it all together slowly. It's a good story, though. I don't want to go through that door. But do I have to? Uh, it's locked. Good, good. That's a good thing. That's, that's a very good thing. How did I do that? It just broke. Where do I go? What's going on? There is some sort of secret door mechanism in the local history room. Okay. How did I know that that was a thing? Of course. Wait, damn it. Okay, so it's this book first. Okay, now where is the next one? Please. Finally. Great. Good. A key. Oh, what the freak? What the freak? What the freak? What the freak? What was that? What was that? What the hell was that? It's out there. I know it's out there. Okay, I don't... Okay. Regarding closing of the wine cellar, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I will lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation on, from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the foot matter has been handled. Either the king's men will leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would be, in a sense, solve both my problems. I still don't trust whatever this is. Something happened. Oh my word. And I'm gonna go into the locked place. What the freak is going on? Why are you doing this? Why are you making me do this? This is not okay. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my safety hole. Back to my safety hole. Okay. Come on. Brave up. I'm a brave boy. You will not scare me. You will not scare me. Whatever you are, you will not scare me. You will not scare me. What are you? Oh, no. No, that is not good. What the heck? I'm so exposed. Went budge, okay. No, no, no. Come on, no. No, I will not go insane. Back to the light. I will not go insane. <sighs> Is there even anything in here? 
No. Come on. Come on, grab the thing, grab the thing, light the thing. There we go. Yes. Woo! Okay, um. Wow. This is intense. It's gonna be s Haha, -ha, I found you, you fat little thing. And I have to go in the direction that it comes from. Great. Is there like a quick save? There's no quick save. Is there? Oh, okay. Okay. I don't want. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Shush. And of course, there's that music playing. Finally, we got a glimpse of our first monster. You know what? Let's get out of here. The desert dunes were like waves in the sl in a sluggish area. While the cavern moved, the land appeared motionless. But in the camp, the halls, m the hills moved. What? What the hell? What the hell just happened? What was that? Ah! Oh, it almost feels like I'm being stabbed. Oh, so- Oh, no. How's my health? All is good. Yeah, right it is. And there goes my oil. Right, wine cellar time. yip to doo da day How do I use this? The statues were praying, gazing into the dark, domed ceiling. Why? Why was that necessary? I need to find the light source. I'm going crazy. Where did the Baron go? Who cares? He left us in a wine to last us a lifetime. Or at least until tomorrow. No, come on! Light, 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 light! Yes. Cooperite. And the door closed. Great. Um. Oh yeah, I can't use anything in here. <laughs> so you are oh, the original enemy of PewDiePie. He screamed at you. Well, you know what? Screw you, put barrels. Screw you. Woo! Oh, this is... Okay, ah, come on. There has to be something around here. Get out of my way, barrels. Be gone. Because I remember if I started just getting everything out of the way last time, there was... Oh, noit, 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 noit. Nothing here. There is nothing here. Wait, is that thing here? Wine, wine, and more wine. <gasps> what the hell? Hello? Okay. Breathe. It's just a game. It's just a game. No, 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 no. Oh, that was so bad. What was that? What is going on in there? I don't have any tinder boxes. I'm losing sanity fast. Come on. Come on. Stay sane. Stay sane. There we go, big boy. There we go. There we go, Daniel. Okay, I need to find something in fast. Nothing, 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 nothing. It's just a whole lot of nothing down here. Tinderbox, tinderbox. Yes! I mean, a bunch of bloody wine cellars. What are you? Damn it! Barrels! Where am I? What's going on? No. Oh, no. No, I don't have any tinder boxes. Okay. Okay. Hold down left mouse while moving left stick to push press the right mouse. So wait, I can push. 
I swear I'm making more of a mess than this and I'm actually solving. Come on. Can the whispers, like, stop for a bit, please? That would be awesome. Okay, get you out of the way. Come on, that way, that way. Get out of the way. Come on, come on. Foot sec. Do I really want to actually open this door? Probably something very dangerous on the other side, if I'm honest. It swings inwards. Of course, it swings inwards. Come on. Come on. Out of my way. There we go. I swear I can hear them groaning. What the heck just happened? Ew! Oh no. That is not good. That is not good. Barrels, why have you done this? Ew. What's happening? Oh, it feels like my chest is going to burst. Hey, hey, hey! No swore. Oh, this is just. Oh, this is. Oh, I am champing this dude. Aqua Regina, awesome. Willem's last words. My name is Willem, House of Grinch. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to Castle Brennenberg, as most of the aristocracy. I was curious about what the supposed Knight of the Order would want from me and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of this contract was sordid and the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honours I've been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court. Advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly and I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I brought men, women, and children to Brennenberg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me to and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming, their skins have been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes and I can no longer. Dude, what the hell happened here? Well, I mean, I, I kind of know actually, if I'm honest. Splat, 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 this is not good. No, 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 no. Nope. What was that? What was that? Was it the thing? I think we should give him a name. Rolf, is that you? Is that you, dear fellow? Rolf, I swear I'm going to smack you. Yeet. Let me in! Okay, fine. Fine, jeez, Rolf. Shepard. Where is it? Damn it, how do I get out of here? Run. Why can't you run, you pathetic person? Okay, um. Medical bracer to improve health and heals wounds. Okay, um, all is good. Um, my sanity is unknown. Whoa, okay. Okay, and I'm going to leave that episode there. Yeah, that was. Wow. Oh. This game is awesome. Woo! That was... Wow. 
Holy crap, I love that. I really didn't think I'd like horror games as much as I do here. I think I'm just kind of, you know, forcing myself through it and, you know, getting through there and actually enjoying it. But yeah, we've actually seen the monster. We've given him a name, Rolf. And what we've kind of seen. I don't know. It's, yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, if you like this video, drop a like, drop a comment. And you know what? Subscribe so that you can see more from me. But anyways, that's enough for me. I'm going to head out. Bye.